So here we have my brand new Yamaha Mo DX8 and one of the key things about this keyboard key <laughs> to note is that there is enough room for a 15 inch MacBook Pro to sit on the right hand side here. I haven't seen that mentioned in any of the reviews but it's useful to note. Anyway, on with the video. What we want to do is get the Modi X talking to main stage. In the first instance, it's a good idea to make sure the Modi X firmware is at the latest version. I'm not going to go through those details because there was plenty of information online, on YouTube, Google, whatever. Now, to check the firmware on the Modi X, press Utility. We're in Settings now. We want to come down to the System tab. And here we can see the Modi X firmware version. In this case, it's 1.10.0. The other thing is to make sure that the Yamaha Steinberg USB driver is installed on your computer. Um, I'm using uh, the MacBook Pro here and the Modi X is connected to the laptop by USB cable. So on the laptop let's go to Audio MIDI Setup Utility. Um, if we go to Finder Applications down to utilities, we're looking for audio MIDI setup. Here we are. Now down here in the bottom right corner, we have the MoDX icon. If we double click on that, and just check that port one is selected, that's all we're gonna to need to use. Apply that, come out of there, go up to window, and we wanna see in high, we want to show audio devices. Here we are. So, here's the Mo Modi X selected. Just check the output. You can see the master, the main left and right, and the digital left and right. If we check the input, we can see the master, the USB main, and the other USB 8 channels. All is looking good there. So, let's come out of this and go to main stage 3 which is what I'm currently using so um, if we hit command N on the keyboard I've got many different options here but let's select keyboard minimalist now um, interestingly you can select straight away the output that you want main stage to use you will want to use MODX here the MODX so do click on that I'm using Soundflower just to record this video um, but do make sure Modi X is selected and choose so this will open up this uh, keyboard minimalist um, Yeah, uh, what's it called? Setup concert. That's it. It's called a concert. So that's us there. Let's just double check. Let's go up to preferences and audio and Again, make sure that the audio outputs and inputs are selected properly. We have the Modi X as the input You again want to make sure that the audio output is is Modi X I'm using Soundflower just for the video, but make sure that's connected to Modi X. I think the Modi X only outputs at 44.1, so select that to apply changes and then come out. Let's just make sure that the Modi X is connected by USB to main stage. So we're going to press the utility button, uh, settings, then come down to MIDI I.O. And there are the options, there's MIDI in out and USB. We want to be with USB. Now at this point we should be able to hear this classic piano. That's working well. So back to main stage we want to set an external instrument so that we can fully properly control the Modi X. So let's come up here, add external instrument channel strip. Um, so as you can see that's created that there. Um, set the MIDI channel to 1. Here the port 1 Modi X8 is the one that we want to make this work. So let's set the input to 1 to 2. So now we're hearing that with a little bit of distortion for some reason. Anyway, ignore that. Let's rename this. Double click. CFX plus FM. EP. Now, going back to the Modi X, we want to change some more settings. So we're going to hit Utility, Settings, Quick Setup. Now, this setting here, standalone, is for using the keyboard without a computer. This setting here, MIDI Record on DAW or DAW, is the one that we want. 
Now to get quick access to this, it's a tip, this little icon up here, the little keyboard icon, when we click standalone we can see the keyboard clearly here, when it's on MIDI record it's greyed out. If we were elsewhere, let's say we're out in performance mode and we want to have access to this, clicking this little icon speedily takes you to the quick setup page. So anyway, we want to hit MIDI record on DAW, DAW. The next thing we're going to do is go to the Advanced tab and set MIDI I.O, MIDI in out mode to single. Then we're going to go to the Audio I.O page and this Direct Monitor tab or button, this needs to be set to Off. Now, very usefully, there's a way to store these settings. So if we go to Quick Setup, um, down here, this little button on the right, Store Current Settings, which is what we want to do. Um, so this is going to store to the setup number 1, MIDI Record on DAW, so let's just click on that, uh, delete that, we're going to call it Main. Come on. There we are. Main stage. Click done. Store. Boom. We're now able to flick quickly between standalone and main stage. Following on from that, there is a way to get main stage to tell the Modi X which performance to play at any one time. Um, so it's very important which you select in main stage at any one time. So let's select this channel strip here that the Modi X is coming through. We want to go to MIDI output and we want to send program change and send back select. So select those. And back to the Modi X, we're going to hit the performance button. It takes us to this screen. If we click on the performance name there, we've got a few tabs come up, one of which is property. So we're going to click the property tab. That shows us the category, subcategory, and more pertinently, the bank select and program change details. These are what we need. So let's do this in order. If you do the program change number first, it, um, it, it will take us out of the screen, which is a little bit inconvenient. So let's do the MSB value first, which is 64. MSB 64. Um, the LSB is 0. And then lastly, let's do the program change, double click there. And although it says here number two, we want to subtract that by one for the Yamaha standard. With some other keyboards, two would be fine, but it's the way that, that main stage and Yamaha talk to each other. So we're going to subtract that by one. So just enter one, which is one less than two. Enter there. And now every time we select this, this patch on main stage, it's going to tell the Modi X to play this part. Sorted. Um, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like the video.